So I have Hala right here. And Hala, by the way, is Pandanus baptisia. Especially the variegated variety is the baptisia. That's a species. It's a tropical foliage, much like pineapple. And so these are the individual pieces of uh, leaf. And some people find it really fun to work with because it's very dramatic. But other people find it a little intimidating because it's so big. Whether it goes into foam or into any kind of a structure, it's so broad that you just don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna just show you right now how you can still manipulate it and use it in much finer work. So the key thing that you have to understand is really the physiology of the leaf. It has a beautiful sort of sweeping arch to it and, and that it has a slight twist in the curve that's so beautiful, but it's so broad and dramatic. But the reason why it stays up and stays fairly stiff is because if you look at it from the end, it is kind of like a W. And so that the main rib that forms the first V right here is what keeps it really rigid. The other side of it, if you take it away, which we're about to do, can make it a little bit softer uh, or get a softer use out of it. So to take away the broadness, we're gonna split it up into three parts. So what I'm gonna do is take this hala and just slice it up on just the one side of the V, taking away that main ribbing and just slicing it all the way down. So now you have this very supple, beautiful, soft piece that could be used very curvaceously. And you're gonna do that with the other as well. So you can get actually three beautiful pieces out of it. The two very beautiful loose strips. And then we still have this, the, this, this very rigid piece that has a slightly beautiful curve at the top. So this allows the base of this to be so much more smaller, narrower, and when I flatten it, easily slips into an opening in the holly's egg. Now it looks so much more curvaceous and beautiful, and it takes away that real harsh, hard, and big and thick look that the original hollow had. So what can you do with the other two pieces that we stripped away from the same leaf? So it's the same one hala. It has quality that's a lot like bear grass or lily grass, so you can manipulate it in a lot of fun ways, and it could be part of your very beautiful curvaceous design. As you can see, that one piece of hala that was so strong and so rigid turned into a very beautiful curvaceous foundation for a beautiful design. Oh,